Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me on the line, he's been here before and he'll be here again. It is our buddy from Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators, Mr. Seth Olney. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. How are we doing, sir? Uh, you know, we talked off the air about my headphone situation right now, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a story for another time. But uh, Seth is, uh, if you guys all remember, Seth has been on uh, the air a few times along with his brother, Jesse. Uh, been a part of the hauntingmkggo.com, which I may want to talk to you about that again here in a second after we talk about this. But the uh, uh, you've been on, you you know, you ghost hunt. You've it sounds like you've done UFOs at some point or other, had run-ins with it. Uh, but your big one now is Bigfoot, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, you moved out to New York. What are you working on now? What do you are you still like? When I say part of Calhoun County Paranormal Investigators, is that still a thing, or are you New York Calhoun? County paranormal <laughs> investigators. <laughs> no, it is. Uh, it's absolutely still a thing. Um, it's yeah. It's kind of weird. I totally understand the confusion. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we're still. I mean, technically CCPI. Yeah, yeah. We're. I'm still doing stuff out here. I actually have a documentary I've been working on for, like the past three years. Oh wow. Um, yeah, it's the pat. It's been a little more difficult being kind of solo out here. But I did bring Jesse and our other our other partner Gert out here to do a big invest investigation um, a couple weeks ago. So yeah, it's actually, we've been having some pretty crazy stuff out here. Well, New York's kind of known for that. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people think of New York as, you know, a lot of city and that sort of thing, but you get outside of, of New York city and it's kind of foresty up in that area, isn't it? Oh man. Yeah. It's like my, where I live is just, just near the foot of the Catskill mountains. And, uh, it's, a huge stretch of mountains that you know it takes like three hours to drive through yeah there's ridiculous amounts of activity in there and then up in the adirondacks and then even massachusetts is like less than an hour for me and there's a ton over there so yeah it's city is just like a blip of new york um and the rest is absolutely tons of forest mountains all that that's awesome. Seth Olney from Calhoun County Paranormal Paranormal Investigators on the line with me right now. All right, so uh, real quick, uh, new documentary. When do you think that's going to come out? I'm aiming for fall. Um, it was supposed to be out last fall, and then this good old COVID hit and all that good stuff and kind of threw some stuff off for me. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking at fall. I think I have everything that I want. But we've had some pretty, pretty epic findings up here. Um, a friend of mine has a huge property in the mountains so we can just freely hunt whenever we want and him and his family have had tons of activity so that's kind of like the main focus of the film is on that property but yeah i'm looking at fall i hope uh, that's awesome did i ever tell you my uh bigfoot tv show i wanted to make i'm, I'm not sure please refresh my memory <laughs> on one end of a property you got to find a big property on one end of the property you have people that are legitimately searching for bigfoot right yep. on the other end of the property you have people that are legitimately trying to fool the other people into believing oh, there's man. bigfoot <laughs> <laughs> without getting caught how great of an idea is Dude, that, that, that would be, i would be all about participating in this <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. really I, I don't know. Listen, and I and I love doing this stuff. I'd hate to be in that situation, but I think that would be the oh, funniest show. Oh, oh all right. Man. All right, but Seth. Dude. Well, the reason you're on today is uh, you came across a minor mystery that has to do uh, with here in Des Moines. And uh, when I saw you post about it, I was like, oh, that's awesome. I should ask around about that because I might be able to help you. And then it was like, you know what? We're just why don't you just come on and talk about it? Uh, tell us about your minor mystery that has to do with Bigfoot in Des Moines. So I was uh, I was actually on social media and I got tagged in a post and uh, it was uh, by a guy who's now a friend, Jeremiah Byron of the Bigfoot Society. He posted about, did you know that there used to be a Bigfoot information center in Des Moines? I was like, what? Yeah, and it's supposedly it was in the 70s. There is literally like one newspaper clipping or something like that that talks about it, and that's it. And there's like nothing else. There's no, there's nothing else you can find about this, at least that we've found yet. Um, and he's hardcore, like digging, 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 and he hasn't found anything yet. So I'm intrigued because obviously I've been researching Bigfoot in Iowa for 
well over a decade, and I had no idea about this. That it tracks because, like, we've talked, you know, many times about this off air, but. You know, like my dad said that there was a, a stuff around Sailorville he can remember from the 70s. Like Bigfoot stories are a bigger deal here in central Iowa than I ever gave it credit for. Dude, it's an absolute truth, man. And it seems to be, as it was around the entire nation in the 70s, Bigfoot was much more widely talked about. And it's becoming more a widely talked about thing now, but in the 70s, there was a lot of sightings in like even the newspaper that mentions the Bigfoot Information Center. It talks about all these people in the town of Humboldt in the surrounding areas, like having sightings. And that's one thing I know for a fact that I've read about. And it's like the entire town more or less witnessed Bigfoot and they just don't talk about it now. And so we don't hear about these things. It's not, it's like, they kind of just like are hush hush about it. Like, Hey, let's not let people know we're insane. Like that's well, I, what they you, think. You, you, know? you say that, but it's true. I mean, you think about like uh, when I was a kid, I can remember like if you read about UFOs or or ghosts or you know uh, Bigfoot or anything like that, or the Loch Ness monster. That was another one that was up there. It, you were yeah. people looked at you a little like, really, you're kind of into that, and so it it's it's one of those things where it wasn't cool to do that when I was a kid, right? Right, And, and, and it seems to have changed a little bit. Yeah, it, it's becoming more of a, like, thing, like, because of television and because of, like, things like Travel Channel and stuff like that, it's becoming more of a, like, oh, well, other people experience this. And that's what we felt after we released Squatch Iowa, is we had people messaging us. I mean, we had, and it wasn't young people. It was people in their 60s and their 70s that were messaging us left and right saying, thank you. Thank you for putting this out because I've been telling my kids for years that this thing is real, that I experienced it, and they would laugh at me. And now I can show them and say, hey, these people are finding it too. It's not like a bunch of garbage. Like, it's <laughs> legit. <laughs> you know, it's something I just thought about because I was looking at the map of where Humboldt is here in Iowa, and uh, – it's it's kind of interesting because it is the junction of two uh, water sources, two rivers coming together. Yes. Do you? Yeah. And I've never thought about this, but do you think there are different? <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Uh, different species of Bigfoot. Like there's because everybody thinks. I, I think when people think of Bigfoot, they think deep, deep, dark forest, right? Right. Do you yep. think there might be offshoot stuff where it's like, uh, you know, ones that wander a little bit more, where you get into. Uh, you know, ones that follow rivers and stuff, because if you, uh, most rivers have forest of some sort following them, right? Yeah, right. It's, I mean, it's kind of like, and, and again, for anyone listening, I am not a professional. I don't claim to like, this is what it is. Um, you don't have a, a degree or certification or whatever it was? I don't. I missed the, the recertification last year, and I just like, you know, you know what? <laughs> okay, for for everybody listening, if you ever come across paranormal investigators and they're talking about their certifications and stuff, <laughs> oh, they're, man. excuse the language, but they're full of <laughs> okay? Yeah, thousand percent. <laughs> thousand percent. And if they ever make you pay for something, they're definitely full of <laughs> Oh, even bigger, man. <laughs> <laughs> so okay so getting back to this uh, that that's a completely yeah. op- different topic for some time <laughs> um it's right up there with uh when tv shows change what the story was but we'll talk about that later <laughs> uh, uh seth Alney from calhoun county paranormal investigators on the line with me okay so what we know about this there was a research center in des moines during the 70s for bigfoot right yeah that's what it seems and it was tied to cases in Humboldt? Yeah, so the the newspaper clipping, and I, I cannot remember who posted that into the conversation we were having, but it talked about the Humboldt cases and people being interviewed. And it was relayed to a, this is how it was put in the, the thing. It said, Kevin <clears throat> Cook of the Iowa Bigfoot Information Center. And that's all it was said. And that's all we can find. Okay. <laughs> about and that was what was said in there. It was related to this Kevin Cook of the Iowa Big Iowa Bigfoot Information Center. So clearly something was established and was looking into this stuff. Now, maybe it was just a guy in his living room and he just had a nice formal name or 
there was an actual legit like office of some sort. But that's what we're like trying to figure out. All right. So the long and short of this all is we're trying to find information on it because I think it's kind of interesting too. That's something in, uh, would be like this here in Des Moines. But uh, we'll have all the contact information and stuff uh, at the bottom of the page. But uh, that's pretty much what what we're looking for, right? Is any information anybody might have had uh, of this organization, of maybe this Kevin Cook, of these Bigfoot sightings uh, around Humboldt and apparently around Des Moines? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I would love to just I would love to know where what happened with this or what he or this organization discovered um and if they have information somewhere um and yeah i'm always obviously want to know more sightings and more things that have gone on in iowa in the past whenever yeah um yeah that's that's what we're yeah trying to figure out i would just love to know like there was someone looking into this in the 70s and i would love to chat with them i know i remember we talked about it during the squatch iowa stuff when i went out with you guys but it was what was the story about around Sailorville? There was like a guy that had his arm tore off or something. Yeah, yeah, that was um, that was actually before we hunted together, and we were waiting at the trailhead, and park rangers came up just to check and see what we were doing, and we told them straight up like we're bigfoot hunting, and they're like, oh okay, and we're like, have you guys heard any any stories? And they're like, oh no, not really. I mean, there was a guy in the sixties who. Uh, came out of the woods and stopped traffic saying his uh, arm had been ripped off by a monster. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, well, that sounds like something. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and so that was, like, a big, huge eye-opener. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, it was almost, like, brushed off. Like, oh, yeah, this happened. And... Yeah, that was just wild, man. Oh, that's crazy. I was just thinking it, but I was trying to think of a way you could do it without because of uh, medical records. It, it, like you would think that there would probably be a hospital medical record. Uh, you would, it, you would think so. Yeah, in the '60s, <laughs> of a guy. Yeah, he said he got his arm tore off. You know, right. there's. There, yeah. You would think that would be out there. That would be yeah something that you could dig into. You know, unless yeah. they again they. These people that find out about this stuff, it's funny how quickly this, these these stories get buried, too. So, yeah, oh, it's, it's very, very intriguing, as always. All right. Well, like I said, we're going to put all the uh, contact information at the bottom of the page. Uh, if you have any information about this, if you know anything about a possible Bigfoot uh, information center or society uh, here in Des Moines and any of these Humboldt stories or even the guy that got his arm tore off or whatever, uh, yeah. feel, feel free to reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, and if you want to talk to Seth directly, we'll have his stuff up there too where I can forward it on. We'll, we'll get you guys hooked up with everything because uh, who knows? Maybe this is a new documentary for you, Seth. I know, man. It, it's definitely – we're still – would love to do Squatch Iowa too. I think I have like two pages of witnesses who have reached out to us since the first one, and I really, really want to do it. I just have to have time in Iowa. I, I'm but, not going to lie, yeah. but I uh, I tooted that horn the other day when I was in an interview. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Somebody, uh, it, it's an interview that hasn't been on yet, but it, uh, <laughs> the guy said something. I'm like, well, not to toot my own horn, but I was part of a award-winning <laughs> Sasquatch video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was uh, wonderful. So, all right. I love it. We'll get all that information up. Uh, Seth, has the government tried to stop you from doing any of this yet? Uh, not yet. Then you're not I'm, big time I'm, enough. What the heck? You're not big time enough then. No, 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 not big time enough. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> flying <under the> car. <laughs> well, you look around and there's a lot of weird stuff coming out in the news. You know, whether it's UFOs oh. or... Uh, uh, un man. yeah, unidentified creatures and so on and so forth. I mean, the the news is getting to be a weirder world, weirder place for the world. You know, it oh, it truly is. Yeah, who knows? They might just be like, yeah, start telling people. There you go. All right, Seth yeah. Olney from Calhoun <laughs> County Paranormal Investigators on the line with me right now. Uh, we'll have all the contact information at the bottom of the page. If you know anything about Bigfoot here in Iowa, even and really just in general Bigfoot stories here in Iowa, reach out to Seth. He's a good dude. He uh, he'll he'll listen to you. All right, Seth, uh, get to work and uh, give that uh, baby a hug. Okay. I shall, my friend. I appreciate it, brother.